Okay, so at my high school, there the diversity of teachers is completely non-existent. And so I'd like to talk about when one of the teachers is absent. Um, in my history class, my teacher was gone for one day and a substitute came. And this substitute was, um, was Asian. And the people in the class, they all just came in like a normal day and when they see there's a substitute in normal day, in a day when there's a white substitute, um, which is the most normal case of um, substitutes that our history class would have. They come in and they see there's a substitute. And oh, wow, okay, yeah, this, is, this is gonna be a great day. And so they just, they normally what happens is they just don't pay attention to the authority of the substitute and they would um, make these mocking comments about what, how they teach and how they, um, they take care of the class. But since, since this substitute was Asian and he pronounced his words differently, the same people who are disruptive with the white substitute were disruptive with the Asian substitute, except they made the same comments, but added a, a racial, a racial um, aspect to it and mocked how he said his words and how he um, didn't understand what they were saying or how he talked about, yeah, how he had like a little, um, how he talked about how he came to America at the beginning of the class. They talked about, oh, why is he saying this? This isn't important. This doesn't relate to our history class. This isn't, this, we should just not pay attention and talk about how he isn't doing anything right and how this isn't, how the way it should go. And we don't, this isn't important. And I feel like that, there shouldn't be a difference in between how we treat our teachers. When, when I realized that when I had um, a non-white teacher at Lake Ridge coming into uh, this class that I thought was normal, it made me realize that these people really weren't clear on their thoughts as I thought they had been. People use that, use their definition of being in this bubble. The white people in this community, they, they tend to use it as a definition to perpetuate these racist and biased norms and like they'll think, oh, I'll get out of Lake Oswego. These students think, oh, I'll get out of Lake Oswego and it won't apply to me anymore. But the thing is, that's not the right mindset. Students need to realize that this can't be put off into the point where it's not in their hands anymore, to the point where they'll just go to another place and they'll say, oh, forget about it, because this isn't me anymore. I don't need to be associated with it. Right now, it's in our hands and we need to make that change.